The reason why a pot of greed is so good is because it got a bing ding dong. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I got a golden pot of greed. This is my golden pot of greed that I bought on the World Wide Web from a targeted advertisement that came directly at me. And I said, yes, I want this golden pot of greed because I've never had a pot of greed, but I feel like I've played a pot of greed. Now, I know that's a lot of pot of, pot of greed to talk about, but I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh! So I've never actually gotten to play a pot of greed. So I don't exactly know how a pot of greed works, but my understanding is it's pay one draw two. Now what's so great about pay one draw two? This is the Dragon Ball pot of greed. It's I'm the world champion and basically if you have a Son Goku in play you can pay one energy and draw two cards. So pot of greed, pay one, draw two. In set one of the One Piece card game we already got a pot of greed. This is be my samurai. Be my samurai is pay one, switch two cards to rest mode, and draw two. Two character cards. But what's so great about these pots of greed? Why are they so greedy? Well the reason why a pot of greed is so good is because it's getting a card that's useless out of your hand and it's getting you two new cards cards from your deck. You are netting one card because you get rid of one card and draw two cards. However, the card in your hand is useless other than getting those two cards. So if you get to use it and get those two cards, you're getting two new cards, you're thinning your deck by two cards, and the likelihood that those cards are going to be more useful than the card you just got rid of are very high, which is going to gain you advantage on the next turn. And drawing fire cards is fun. Drawing cards is a fun time. It's a really good time. Everybody likes drawing cards. There's people that actually even draw the art on this cards, and those are the people that are the best at drawing cards but let's take a look at this golden pot of greed and if you like this stuff consider smushing that subscription button it really helps me out and you can join the joe crew and we'll get on the holy hexagon and pot of greed got a bing ding dong all right here's the golden pot of greed from my targeted advertisement on facebook i'm gonna get a saksa tetsu pot of greed let's crack this pot of greed open yeah this is a golden one if you're collected, this is probably the kind of thing that you want to keep sealed, but this looks so 3D, I want to touch it. I want to get my hands on this pot of greed. I want to, oh, wow, yeah, that's nice. What is this, an ingot? My ingot, my pot of greed ingot is stuck. I got a stuck ingot. Can somebody help me get my ingot out of here? Oh, wow, look at that shiny Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh, this is pot of greed 3889. Wow, what a lucky, what an amazingly lucky number. Eight and eight is the lucky number, the Chinese lucky number. And nine minus three is six. And uh, if you take the three from the nine and put it on the three over here, you'll get a six over here. And then you get a six on the nine, which is really good. That's, that's a lucky number. That's a lucky pot of greed, if you ever ask me. If I ever had a numbered pot of greed, I'd actually want this exact number. So I am really glad that I opened this up because I would have never known what that pot of greed number is on this pot of greed and it would have been trapped in there forever. And now I can feel it and I know this is my ingot and it makes me, it gives me the power of the pot of greed. Anyway, I think this is a pretty cool looking thing. I don't think I'm going to get into Yu-Gi-Oh collecting, but if I was going to have one Yu-Gi-Oh thing, I think a golden pot of greed seems like the right kind of treasure for me to keep in my treasure trove. But yeah, so that's what a pot of greed is. A pot of greed is pay one, draw two. If you guys know what play card games, you might know of the pot of greed i only really play dragon ball and oh wow look at this it comes with a ding dong huh oh double ding dong would you look at that you just you get your golden pot of greed on this little ding dong stand and you can stand it and you can stand it up what a what an amazing time what an amazingly greedy time you can just put that let's duel let's duel it's pot of greed golden pot of greed time and you're gonna stand up your greedy greedy golden pot on the, on the stand for your pot of greed. Pretty nice, nice design. Unfortunately, the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh did pass away a few weeks ago. Uh, I never played Yu-Gi-Oh, but I saw a lot of people on my Facebook feed that were really big Yu-Gi-Oh players. And uh, it is really sad that such a amazingly creative person that brought so many people together through gaming is no longer with us. So my heart goes out to you, sir, I'm sorry for your friends and your family for the great loss they must be suffering and the world for losing such an amazing creative. But um, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have this golden pot of greed in my hand. So this is pretty cool and I gotta shout out my respects to you. And to everybody that put the energy into changing their profile picture into their favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I, I wish I did, but I didn't, I never really played Yu-Gi-Oh. I guess maybe if I had one, maybe this golden pot of greed would be a good one. I think it's a cool card. Cause drawing cards is really fun. Cause when you draw more cards, it means you get to play more cards. And when you get to play more cards, that means you get to play the game more. And that's awesome. So thank you so much. I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So this pot of greed is made out of uh, 
metal. This is this is metal. It's coated in 24 karat gold, but it's definitely not solid 24 karat gold. A lot of people have metal in or around their teeth. Some people have amalgam fillings. Some people have metal crowns and amalgam fillings change at different rates relative to temperatures than your normal tooth structure. So if you have an amalgam filling in your tooth and you drink some coffee, that amalgam or the metal expands faster than the tooth structure which over time creates micro fractures in the tooth and eventually parts of those teeth can chip off. So it's a lot better to get your teeth filled with a resin ceramic material, such as flowable composite or packable composite, instead of using metals to fill your teeth that expand and contract at different rates due to their coefficient of thermal expansion and contraction. So go with ceramic, it's better for your teeth. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.